Yo, so, um, I have enlarged tonsils slightly, which causes me to get a sore throat every once in a while with no fever, no other fucking side effects, just that, a sore throat. And I get prescribed antibiotic pills for like a seven to 10 day period until the shit passes through my system and my throat doesn't hurt no more. Now, I wanted another fucking round of those uh, antibiotics just in case, because just in case. So I was speaking to my doctor today, right? And I'm not gonna say her name. I'm not even gonna say what fucking uh, f doctors I go to or what fucking company I use, whatever, none of that shit. They are now doing phone call, video phone call, uh, fucking sessions or whatever the fuck you wanna call it, uh, visits. Because they don't want people coming into the fucking office. You know, the fucking world is falling apart right now. And now, mind you, I'm wearing gloves right now. Just went to the fucking CVS into the supermarket. Mind you, this is video call. We ended up doing fucking uh, like Skype call and shit. Because the app they wanted to use fucking sucked dick. You couldn't even hear the audio. You could just see the video. So we just ended up talking to each other on private Skype. Now, it was really, because, you know, over a Skype call, she can't really tell my symptoms. She can't really look at my throat. So I was just telling her what usually happens with my sore throat. And she just prescribed me the antibiotic pills. And I got the motherfuckers again. Because you know what these antibiotic pills kill? Emo, um, pneumonia? The shit that fucking, when you got liquid in your lungs, that's what it attacks. And that's what most of these people are fucking getting when they're getting the corona vibe. So I just felt to have a fucking bunch of these pills would not be fucking bad. Just in case the, f the shit hits the fan. But anyways, so during the end of our uh, chat, she tells me some shit like this. She was like, look, I usually wouldn't tell people this in, you know, the office setting because you know, I just took it as she doesn't know who's listening. But, she's saying, every session she's having with her patients, she's telling them this. She was like, listen, stay home. And she was like, and I don't mean stay home as in, oh, go to work and stay home. She's like, this is getting bad. This is getting out of control. She's like, trust me, I'm a doctor. This is out of control. We don't know what to do anymore. Once you have this, it doesn't matter what the TV says. They can't do anything for you. There's nothing that could be done for you. Unless you're on the verge of dying, they will hook you up to oxygen to try to keep you alive. But as far as that, there's nothing we could do. And she was like, it's not worth it. If you have anybody who's older, if you have anybody who, just anybody in general, doesn't even matter. Just stay home. Lose your job. This is not worth it. I was just like, damn. That puts shit in perspective. Because I don't know shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm not... Listen, man, let me tell you something. I live in New Jersey. The governor don't give a fuck. This motherfucker, if you check his fucking Twitter, what is he saying? Everybody stay home. Except you motherfuckers going to work. Y'all going to work. How you want everybody to stay home and people are still going to their fucking jobs and interacting with? Now, Amazon fucking, uh, fucking warehouses are fully open. Fucking post offices, restaurants, fucking McDonald's, Wendy's, Taco, everything is still open. You know what fucking China did? Yo, you want to know... Why China has no new cases and they started in that motherfucker? Because they shut the entire fucking place down. Nobody go outside, nobody, nothing. And now what? The place where it started is fucking almost cured. They have no new cases. Meanwhile, in fucking America, this shit is falling apart. They're estimating fucking, wait, how many people? Like 40,000 people are gonna die of this shit within the next two months. We're already at, I don't even know what number we're at. Let me not just fucking guess, but I do remember that 40,000 number. They are guessing that, because you know why? 
Because they're not just gonna say it on the fucking news. They're gonna report the deaths to let people know this is serious. But they're not gonna say it. Look, if you go to the hospital, there's nothing they can. You know what they're gonna do if you go to the hospital with this shit and you test positive, nigga? They're gonna give you Tylenol and fucking see if you don't fucking fall on uh, iller and shit. Because if you need oxygen, they'll give you oxygen. But other than that, they can't do nothing for you. I didn't like I like I said I'm not. And she was telling me, she was like, look, I'm a doctor, you're in fucking, you're like, you're physical, you're in good health. Even if this hits you, you're not going to die from it. But you're good, you can affect other people, she said. This is the problem. Younger people are going out, having this shit, not really feeling the effects. It'll probably pass through their system before, you know, anything. They'll probably just have a runny fucking nose and a sneeze. And that's, that's the most they're going to get. It'll just pass through their system. But then they're going to infect a hundred other fucking people when they go to the store, when they touch shit, when they fucking sneeze. And and I'm like, yeah, man, that makes fucking sense. But yeah, she was telling me this, man. Shout out to her. She was telling me some shit, which I'm going to share it in this video. Why the fuck not? She says, from what she could tell in her educated guess that this virus enters through your mouth and it lives in your throat for about two to three days before it infects you. Gargle with apple cider, salt, and warm water three, four times a day. Or when you come in contact, or if you have to come in contact with other people, do it. Listen, man, this shit is falling apart right now. These motherfuckers, yo, yo, there's a quality in humans where we follow the pack. We're fucking sheep. Not, and I'm not talking about no fucking conspiracy theory shit like, oh yeah, you're a sheep. Not that. We are sheep. We follow the fucking flock and shit. We don't question. So if you go to work and there's 50 motherfuckers who's not wearing masks, who's not wearing gloves, who just act like everything is fine, like you don't know who this motherfucker came in contact where they're just gonna, oh, everybody else is doing it, so. Listen, motherfuckers, this is why people are getting infected all the fucking time. You stupid little motherfuckers like my age and range and down and a little bit up. <laughs> We're not the ones that are going to fucking die. You know who's going to fucking die? Your fucking parents, your uncles, your aunts. People who can't take this shit. Not everybody can take the flu. I hope you know. I've never had the flu, by the way. Thank God my shit is strong enough. I never had the flu. But... We all know older people. There's people in the supermarket. There's people everywhere. You're, this is why older and sicker people are dying. They can't take this shit like we can. And it's us that are out there working. Like, oh, yeah, they're young and shit. Like, it's always the younger people that they throw into the fi fucking fire. Oh, yeah, they're young. They could take it. But, motherfucker, we're the ones getting sick and getting everybody else sick. You fucking idiots. I cannot believe for an advance that we think we are as a country, we're not as smart as China as to shut this shit down. This fuck, yo, when I look at the fucking, yo, the fucking statistics of how many people are dying from this shit, yo, dog, we need to shut this shit down. You see my fucking face, nigga? I've gained eight pounds since I've been on court. Yo, I mean, yo, when you're home a lot, nigga, you gonna fucking eat. I need to lose this weight. My gym is shut down. I thought about jogging outside, but fuck that shit. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how this virus works. I don't know if it could stay in the air because that's what I've been hearing. Not even my doctor could tell me that. She was just saying stay home, Chris. She doesn't know if it lives in the air for three or four hours. She doesn't know. She's like, look, I'm a doctor. I don't know nothing about this virus. None of us do. But yeah, this is fucking ridiculous. This, like. We're the guinea pigs right now. We're the ones that are, that are gonna fucking suffer because the ones in power don't give a fuck. When the minute they shut all this shit down, it's like, I don't give a fuck what you do for a living. Stay home. Then we're gonna be, all right, they said stay home. Because I gotta stay home. Like, yo, this is the way we are. We're not even looking at like, damn, there's like fucking a thousand people dead. In this country, and there's like fucking 
not to what, 20, 30,000 infected? It's a goddamn shame, yo. It's a goddamn shame. But this is humanity. We're fucking idiots. This is why people are dying every fucking day. Because people just don't want to believe it. Well, I'm back home by cleaning supplies. Damn, my face is looking round as fuck. But I'm all right for the meantime. Peace.